Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackal Educational Channel. So this is the part 50 for the most expected questions for the UGC Net Environmental Science exam. Any other environmental science entrances if you are giving this is very very important. We are dealing with the contemporary environmental issues. Make sure you have note down all the points which we will be discussing here in the video. And you can also join our telegram group learn for the environment for the daily quizzes to strengthen your preparations. So without wasting much time let's get started. So the questions are on your screen. The first question is, what is the joint initiative launched by India and France to boost the ties, the ties between sustainable development and environmental protection? So these are the four options. I'll wait for certain seconds, then I will reveal the correct answer. So this correct option, only option number A, Indo-French Year of Environment is the initiative launched by India and France in the year 2021 by the MOEFCC, Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Prakash Javadikar, the Union Minister. He launched in 2021 by India and France to launch the Sustainable Development and Environmental Protection Initiative. Coming to the second question, second question is objectives and guiding principle of environmental education were first formulated in the year 1977. So this year you should remember, but the question is at which of the following place this environmental education guiding principle and objectives were formulated. So here the options are Stockholm or in Belize, in Rio de Janeiro or in New Delhi. So for some of you this will be the new time you will be coming across this question and here the correct option will be option number b bilisi yes bilisi t is silent here it was the world's first intergovernmental conference on environmental education organized by unesco and unep unesco and unep that is united nation environmental program so they both in cooperation in bilisi that is georgia ussr they did the first formulation of the guiding principle and objectives for the environmental education very important kindly note down next thing is coming from the ipcc so here most of you will be knowing this answer still i will let you know some of the basic thing ipcc is concerned with what so it is concerned with the climate change ipcc full form itself will say that it is related to climate change because the full form you should note down intergovernmental panel on climate change so this governmental panel on climate change was founded in the year 1988 this is also important 1988 the formation of ipcc and the headquarter is in geneva switzerland one question also was asked the parent organization for ipcc they are what they are unep again along with world meteorological organization that is wmo wmo and unep are the parent organization for ipcc coming to the next set of questions next set of questions the almati dam project on the krishna river was an issue between which of the following states in india so from questions also you will get to know some of the concept that is almati dam project on which river on krishna river but you have to tell which states were the having the conflict between this almati dam project and here i will not take much time option will be option number a in between karnataka and andhra pradesh this issue was there when this almati dam that is hydroelectric project on the krishna river in north karnataka river was completed in the year july 2005 this raised to the issue between the two states that is karnataka and andhra pradesh and finally the legal battle was won by karnataka against andhra pradesh next question is also also very very new for some of you the global 200 campaign aimed to protect world selected representative ecosystem was launched in 1997 so global 200 campaign launched in 1997 but by whom whether by iucn by world wide fund for nature or world research institute or sites so here what will be the correct option the correct option will be it was launched by wwf that is world wild fund for nature and it was actually it is important to know that this global 200 campaign it is having the conservation status it is having the status as first is critical or endangered that is for what selected was selected representative ecosystem they selected them and the top thing that is the top conservation strategy 
that is critically or critical or endangered next is vulnerable next is relatively stable or intact so these three are the you can say the conservation status for the ecosystems it is not iucn status it is status for selected 200 campaign that is global 200 campaign status first is critical or endangered then is vulnerable then is relatively stable or intact actually there are 238 eco regions under this global 200 campaign among which terrestrial fresh water marine all the ecosystems come and terrestrial is having the maximum number of protected ecosystem under this that is 142 fresh water 53 and marine 43 no need to learn all these things just remember 238 are coming all comprising terrestrial fresh water and marine coming to the next set of questions next set of questions on your screen so the question is gandhamardan suraksha parishads gsyp were formed in villages of which of the following states so we'll let you know why this thing is coming here so here the correct option first we'll know it is option c odisha gsyp gandhamardan suraksha parishad so here actually this is to know that this is talking about gandhamardan campaign so this gandhamardan is actually the hill located in odisha and it was going for the bauxite mining by the balco company balco yes bauxite that is for bauxite mining bharat aluminium company limited they try to develop their place in the gandhamardan hill as a result the tribals were affected their ecosystems were destroyed so as a result they did the campaign so for doing the campaign they made this parishads that were gandhamardan suraksha parishads and it was in the odisha that is gandhamardan hill so i hope you are able to understand and note down all the important point which i am letting you know coming to the next question assertion and reasoning very very simple if you can analyze it well assertion statement states climate change is going to increase social tensions in india reason states the frequency and intensity of the extreme weather events will have serious consequences for food security so here what you will do we have to add because in the difference or the in place in between assertion and reasoning because we will add so climate change is going to increase social tensions in india because the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events will have serious consequences for food security so this is both the statements are correct and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion statement so here if the climate change will take place extreme weather event will take place and as a result it will have serious consequences on the food security as a result social tensions will take place in india or throughout the world everywhere it will be taking place so i hope you are able to understand coming to the next question next question is what was the focus of rachel carson's book silent spring in the year 1962 so this question is also one of the very frequent asked questions Russell Carson wrote the book Silent Spring in the year 1962 and you have to tell what was the real focus for this book written by Russell Carson so you you should read all the statements all the options then i will repeat the answer so here the correct option will be option number c it was the main thing was focus on the potential ecological devastation of pesticide focusing on the environment so this sir carson he wrote the silent spring he was focusing on this thing that is pesticides ddt so these are very important kindly note down let's move on to the next set of questions next set of question is choose right expansion of sites sites also came in one of the options in the previous question so sites of 1975 so here what is the correct expansion or full form so here most of you will be knowing i will tell you it is convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora but why it is written that 1975 so sites actually it was signed in the year 1973 questions are asked it was signed in the year 1973 but it was coming to the effective in 1st july 1975 it came into effective in 1975 signed in the year 1973 full form is convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora so that is all about sites and sites is also known as washington convention this also you should note down for some of you or for most of you it will be new it is also called as washington convention that is sites convention let's move to the next set of question before that you should know that this draft the initial thing for the sites 
was a resolution adopted in 1963 at the meeting of IUCN that is International Union for Conservation of Nature. This thing you should know for the general knowledge. Coming to the next question, Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi received the award of Global Goalkeeper, not football, Global Goalkeeper from the Gates Foundation for the initiative of what? Is it for Swachh Bharat Avyan or Namami Gange and Yamuna Action Plan or National Action Plan on Climate Change or Single Use Plastic Ban? So this was because of the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan which was launched in the year 2014. This question also comes Swachh Bharat Abhiyan 2014. For that only our Prime Minister Narendra Modi got the Global Goalkeeper Award. And you should also know Swachh Bharat Mission Urban 2.0 program that is the second version of this program that is 2.0 Swachh Bharat Abhiyan Urban is launched in the year 2021. This also you should know that is the second version. Coming to the next question, the Yamuna Action Plan is a bilateral project dash introduced in 1993. From here you should note down Yamuna Action Plan launched in the year 1993. So I am not asking when it is launched. So in the question itself I am giving you the answers or something to note down. But here it is asking it was a bilateral project between whom or it is a single project of government of India. So you have to select I will let you the answer after some time. So here. The correct option is option number A. This Yamun action plan is the bilateral, by means two, two side project in between two government that is government of India and Japan. So I hope you are noting down all these things. Let's move on to the next set of questions. Next set of questions on your screen. The question is the government India UNDP sea turtle project. So government of India's UNDP sea turtle project is a national sea turtle conservation project led by which of the following organization or ministry so you should read every option then i will let you know so here the correct option will be what it will be option number b it is the joint project led by ministry of environment and forest with the wildlife institute of india that is in dehradun so this is actually UNDP that is the joint efforts from UNDP that is United Nations Development Program and this was signed when it was signed it was signed in the year 1999 so this you should remember in between UNDP Ministry of Environment and Forest and the Wildlife Institute of India for conserving the turtle sea turtle let's move to the next question next question is consider the following statements so let us read the statements first statement is Vaden Sea Agreement has been concluded for the protection of seals. Second statement is Basel Convention in context with environment is related to hazardous waste. Question is which among the above statement is or are correct? So here I will let you know. I will not take much of your time. So here Vaden Sea Agreement for some of you it will be the new thing. So this sea agreement is to protect the seals. It is absolutely correct. And here it was signed in the year 1990. And it came into force in 1991. So you should remember only the sign date. That is 1990. The sea agreement for the seal. Warden Sea. That is the sea in which the seals were to be protected. And it was signed where? It was signed in the year 1990. So here what you should know also is that Basel Convention. So Basel Convention we all know it is for the conservation of the environment in order to protect the hazardous waste movement so you should mostly focus on preventing the hazardous waste movement from the developed country to the less developed country so there should be legal rules and it should be avoided so this is all about basel convention when it was signed it was signed in the year 1989 basel basel means what 1989 it was signed you should not get confused 1990 signed for the warden sea agreement for the seals 1989 for the C agreement it is for the hazardous waste movement and here you should know that the Switzerland is the place where the Basel city is present and where this was signed that's why its name is given as Basel Convention. Coming to the next question so the next question is due to which of the following reasons the Loktak Lake in Manipur was included on the Montreux record in 1993 so this Montreux record and this thing you should know first so here Ramsar convention we all know it was in the year 1971 it was signed so it was signed in Ramsar Ramsar is in Iran so here that Ramsar convention is related to wetland of international importance especially as waterfowl habitat 
so as per the ramsar convention we have ramsar wetland list ramsar sites and this ramsar sites from the ramsar sites we are taking montrex record for those wetlands which have undergone certain changes or undergoing certain changes or will go undergo changes in future because of pollution or anthropogenic or human impact or technological impacts such as hydroelectric power or something so all these wetlands when they are coming across all these problems and pollution so this should be recorded under the montrex record which was the first thing is that manipur loktak lake was recorded in the year 1983 because of what because of infestation of water hyacinth and construction of hydroelectric power plant so these two both the reasons are the were the reasons because of which the loktak lake was included in this montrex record which is coming under the ramsar wetland list so i hope you are able to note down all these things and you have learned something new from this video if you like this don't forget to subscribe the channel and yes all the 50 videos till now if you haven't watched you can watch the link is in the i button for the complete unit wise expected questions for the environmental science entrances that will definitely help you in the exam see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in us